tribe how's everybody doing today so it is getting cold here in Canada and I'm talking like we have no leaves left on our trees it snowed the other day fortunately it all melted so let's all just take a moment and say thank you for that um, and it's just getting like dull and dingy and to make matters even worse nobody's shipping plants right now so um, <clears throat> instead, I get to A, live vicariously through all of you guys down south who are still able to get plants shipped to them, and B, I get to work on my wish list. Now, you're going to see my wish list today, but let me explain something to you. You're going to see about maybe 10 to 15 plants. Now, I had to cut this list down so that this video wasn't like four hours long. So you're going to see a portion of my wish list. And I mean, does that make me sound greedy? I'm not greedy. I just like a lot of things. You know, I just like plants. Like all of them, apparently. I don't know. Anyways, so, introductions. Yes, of course. Welcome back. For those of you who have been around a while in my plant tribe, uh, for those of you who are new here, and I know there are quite a few new people, so welcome. Thank you so, so much for checking me out and subscribing. Um, I hope you enjoy what you see here, and for all of you, if you know there's any video um, ideas that you may have, anything that you want to see, by all means, throw them down in the comments or shoot me a message on Instagram. It is in the description of all of my videos. And um, yeah, I'll be happy to look into that. I think that's uh, it's kind of fun, you know, if, if you guys have some interaction and choice over what kind of content that you're seeing. So I welcome ideas. Okay, I'll stop doing this. All right, so back to my wish list. Oh, also, I have something super, super exciting to tell you and I've been mm, itching to tell you guys for like a couple of days now. So. You guys know that I love the company Mellow Monkey that makes my t-shirts. Um, so I've kind of partnered with them as just like a fun thing. It's, it's, it's nothing major. It's not, um, you know, like a money maker or anything like that. But we have uh, collaborated and they have created a line of t-shirts just for all of us, all of our plant tribe. Um, so I am so, so excited. They have done such a good job at um, helping me design these t-shirts. So, and I'm sure I've been a total pain in the butt for them. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, can we tweak? Like I drove them nuts. I'm sure I apologize like a million times, but they were totally cool with it. These are like the sweetest ladies ever. Um, anyways, so I will put their website down in the description of this video and they've actually put um, it right on their main page so if you go to mellowmonkeyshop.com and just scroll down a little bit you'll see um, the shirts that we have come up with so I am super super excited if you guys happen to grab one of these go ahead and let me know I would love to see a picture of you uh, in the t-shirt if you grab it there are so all there are also <laughs> decals available um, for the designs so you know if you want any of those go ahead I, I'd love to see them anyways that's what I was saying yeah so go on Instagram or send me a photo and I'd love to feature that in either a video or on my Instagram or someplace like that I'd really like to see um, yeah I'd really like to see if you know you guys want to rep the merch <laughs> it's, it's not really merch it just has my stuff on it okay anyways enough rambling you came here to see plants. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna give you plants. Stick around. This is the season for eggnog. Cheers. Okay. Wish list. All right, so I'm hoping that I can kind of like navigate the whole setup that I have here. Um, so this is like a whole bunch of different plants. Um, some of them are rare, some of them are uncommon, some of them are common, um, but they're all just kind of like really cool plants that I've had my eye on for a while. 
a lot of these I never see up here. Um, so some of them may take me a while to get my hands on, but here they are in no particular order. So my first plant is the Hoya polyneura. Um, this plant is super cool. Um, they have like the coolest markings and it's like, it's like a whole bunch of little mermaid tails or fish tails. Some people call it a fishtail Hoya. Um, I always think of like a mermaid's tail when I see them, but they are like the cutest little things. And, um, I think I've seen a small cutting of one once. I think my friend Paula has one and it's just a tiny little thing. But, uh, so that is definitely a plant that I would absolutely love to get my hands on. Uh, we just haven't made it there just yet. Um, okay. And so that is plant number one. Uh, the next plant that I've got my eye on right now is the gorgeous, stunning Alocasia Dragon Scale. This thing, I'm looking at a picture of it right now. It's probably here. Um, it, like, this thing was named spot on. This thing is so cool. It's got these dark, uh, like darker vein patterns and it's kind of fades from the from the veins into the center where the veins where they meet you'll see what I mean anyway so it's a lighter green and it's this is just the coolest plant I like honestly this thing is just so so neat um, here's another photo I have of it I love how dark the center is um, oh this it's just the cool I just keep rambling on about this because it's really a cool plant. Um, I've actually never seen one in person. So if you live in Canada and you have one of these for sale, just message me. Okay. Okay then, <laughs> moving along. Uh, so the next plant on my wish list is similar. It is also an alocasia. Um, this guy. <laughs> so... Uh, this is an Alocasia cupria, and I love this thing. It reminds me of the, the Alien movies. It's very metallic. Um, it's got like a reddish hue to it. Um, what a neat, neat looking plant. And uh, again, this is another one that I haven't seen up here, um, but I would really like to get my hands on. Um, if you guys know uh, how these plants are, if they're, you know, uh, easy to take care of or hard to take care of or, you know, any recommendations for me knowing absolutely nothing about them, by all means, let me know. Go ahead. Let me know if you have one. Um, yeah, because eventually I'd like to get one and, you know, I should know how to take care of it, I guess, before I, before I get it. <clears throat> okay. Moving along. So the next plant is a plant that um, I've wanted for a while. I haven't seen one up here. And so that um, has been difficult. So this is a Monstera standeliana. Um, this plant is beautiful. It is variegated. It is white and green. It is like the best of all worlds. <laughs> it's Monstera, it's variegated, it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, this is... Um, I love the the speckling so this particular photo that I'm looking at um, you know a few of the leaves are like almost like a half moon and they have kind of like I kind of call them like snow snowflakes <laughs> they look like snowflakes um, just kind of spattered on the leaf so anyways it's really pretty and I pretty much like anything variegated I mean who doesn't I mean I'm sure there's people you know what comment and let me know are you somebody who like likes everything variegated, like variegated everything, or do you prefer like the good old classic original green or whatever color the plant is supposed to be, non-variegated? Let me know, I'm curious. Okay, moving along. Okay, so the next plant on my wish list has been on my wish list for a while, but it's up there. 
and I would probably hazard a guess that this is the most expensive plant on my wish list. Now I have, this is a variegated plant. I have the non variegated version and I love it so much that I want like every possible cross or variegation that this plant comes in. This ladies and gentlemen <laughs> is the variegated Billetai. Look at this thing. Like, Honestly, it is so beautiful. So the photo that I'm showing you, um, it has this, it still has your classic Billetai orange petioles and that, you know, same shape, but the markings on it, I mean, obviously the variegation differs from plant to plant. Um, this one in particular is just so stunning. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a variegated billetai. If you have a billetai, then you understand where I'm coming from right now, because these plants are amazing. Okay, moving along. Uh, so the next plant on my wish list is, um, also I, I haven't really seen them around a whole lot. I don't really think they're rare, but I think that Maybe up here they're a little harder to get your hands on. Like I said, I personally haven't seen one. So this is the Monstera Siltipicana. And it is so, so neat. I love the markings on the leaves. They kind of look like little, um, I don't know, like miniature. I don't, I don't know. Like it kind of looks like reptilian, I guess. And uh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. And this photo that I'm showing you is a nice big full plant. And uh, that's what I want. I'm probably not gonna find that. I'll deal with the cutting. I'll take a cutting. <laughs> It'll grow into a full plant. I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, that is the Monstera Siltipicana. The next one is such a cool plant. I love this plant. Uh, <laughs> and it's been on my list for a while. I don't remember where I first saw it. It was probably in one of Kaylee's videos. It's, I mean, we all see everything for the first time in our videos, don't we? So this is a philodendron serpens. Um, the stems are furry. Like, how cool is that? I mean, I have a philodendron mammy, 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 and it has different petioles too. There's like ripples up the sides. Um, the further up towards the leaf you get, there's like little wavy, they're really cool. So I love things with like, that are a little bit different. So this and it's, the serpents and it's hairy stems, you know, that could potentially creep people out when they come to my house. It's like right up my alley. <laughs> Philodendron serpents, so cool. Okay, uh, the next, plant on my wish list is gorgeous. It is stunning. It is regal. <laughs> um, so the next plant on my wish list is none other than the Anthurium regale. I think it's pronounced regal. You decide. Potato, potato. I don't know. Anyways, so this plant is gorgeous. The photo that I'm showing you, um, it's, it's, I mean, a massive leaf. The chances of a leaf getting that big in my care, my, inside my home in Canada is like slim to none, but look at this plant. It has big, it looks like it's pillowy. The veins are just like slappy in the face. It's pretty. So yeah, I'd like to get my hands on one of those. I kind of want some more anthuriums. I have four. I have four, but I need more. I've kind of been like on a philodendron kick lately, so you gotta switch back. Okay, next plant on my wish list, I haven't seen around here. It's probably not something that you would expect to see on one of my wish list, but I saw this plant a while back and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. So this is the Tradescantia, Tradescantia, I can never say that word right. Hold on, let me read it and try to sound it. Tradescantia, that sounds right, right? 
Yeah, we'll go with that. Terrascanthia uh, tricolor. So, <laughs> look at this thing. It is soft pink. It is soft pink. It is so pretty. I don't have a whole lot of plants that have a whole lot of color. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm looking around like green all the way around my house. So I would absolutely love to get my hands on this plant. I think it would be a nice little pop of color. And it's like I said, it's just so soft looking and it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah. So if you guys know where I can get my hands on even a cutting of this, because I'm hoping like that it's like other Tretascantias and, and that they are easy to propagate and grow quickly. But first I need to find one. So there's, <laughs> there's that. Okay. Okay. The next plant on my wish list, wish list. So difficult. Sorry. <laughs> the next plant on my wish list is the Anthurium Ace of Spades. This plant is so beautiful. It is dark green. Pardon me. Okay. That was weird. Okay, so Ace of Spades. It is dark green. It has lighter colored veining than a lot of the anthuriums that you're used to seeing. Um, but I just love that gorgeous velvety look. Um, it's just like, I find it's like, it doesn't need anything else. I don't know. I'm looking at this plant and I'm just like, that's all it needs. It's minimalistic, it's beautiful, it's velvety. What more can a girl ask for? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So the next plant on my wish list, actually I've been seeing popping up on like everybody's wish list. So um, a friend of mine actually just got one of these. Uh, he is on YouTube. I've mentioned him before, James Armstrong. And um, his story about how he came to buy this was actually quite similar to mine. So I've been looking at getting this plant for a while. And it was kind of one of those plants that was like in and out of my cart and in and out of my cart. And I just couldn't commit. And I wish I had of. And now I'm totally kicking myself. Um, so this plant is the Cirstasis mirabilis, and this plant is so, so pretty. Um, so it doesn't stay looking like this. So this is what it looks like in its immature and adolescent form. Um, it's also known as the African embossed plant, aeroid, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways. African embossed something. Um, I guess because of just how it looks. So the, the, the lighter parts almost look like they're raised. And uh, just a really, really cool plant. Now once they do mature, they kind of lose that, um, that patterning. And they turn basically green and they're not as nice. Now, I don't know how long that takes. If that takes like you know, how big they would get like in the wild in their, you know, outside down south somewhere. Or if because I would be raising it or growing it in my home, if it would stay a smaller size and stay like it's, it's cute, pretty mature or immature form. I don't know. If you guys know, throw it down in the comments. Let me know. I haven't done a whole lot of research on it to be totally honest. Um, that's about all I got. <laughs> okay. Moving along. Um, this plant is another one that I've had in and out of my cart on a couple different websites and uh, I just haven't pulled the trigger and I don't know why I want this plant Ooh, and I don't know why it's not big it's not statement but it's so neat and I don't have any other plants like this so this is a Monstera dubia or dubia I guess um, it is so, so neat. So this is what you call a shingling plant. Um, so you can put it on a plank. So if you've got like, um, I don't know, like a two by two by four or one by four, or 
not a carpenter by any means, a piece of wood or something that it can shingle up because it will climb upwards, um, then it, it will climb all over the place. I've seen pictures and videos from um, a couple different um, loading like greenhouses or nurseries and these actually will shingle I've seen them shingle up the wall and like across the ceiling and I'm trying to remember where that one in particular was you guys probably know the one I'm talking about I saw it um, Summer Rain Oaks did a video at this particular con uh, conservatory and it was like growing up and across the ceiling it was so so cool um, that may have been a refitifora but anyway shingling plants super cool I need to have one of these it's on my list okay moving along <laughs> okay I know that I said that the variegated bilati was probably the most expensive plant on my list but I forgot about this one <laughs> this is by far the most expensive plant on my list I understand that this plant is unattainable especially at the prices it's going for right now like a couple grand it's insane. I'm not paying it. It's a plant. It could potentially die. Ugh, like I've spent a couple hundred dollars on plants, which yes, admittedly is insane, but a couple grand? Nay, nay. But look at it. Oh my goodness. It is gorgeous. It is the variegated Monstera adansonii, and it is so, so pretty so pretty so it almost looks like the regular form so you know you have your narrow form adansonii you have your wide form or your round form depending on what you prefer to call it and then this kind of looks like it might be a um just like your regular form because there are the three forms i don't know maybe it comes in all three i don't know if you know let me know um but yeah so that one probably will never never be in my home <laughs> but it is really really stunning yes <sighs> okay this is another plant that I have the normal version of or the regular version the green version because I have the green version I need the variegated version because you just got two you have something to compare I I don't know why I don't need a reason why because it's pretty and I like it okay this is the variegated alocasia fry deck ah, you guys all know how much I love my fry deck and this is the variegated version it's so pretty I don't really know what more there is to say about it other than it's really pretty and I feel like I need it, so I've got both. Okay, moving on. So keeping in line with plants that I already have that I want the variegated version of, this is the variegated Monstera Peru. I need it. It's really just that simple. I have the Peru and now I need the variegated version. Moving along. We're getting to the end of the list here. There are four more plants left on this list. This is my condensed list. <laughs> so this plant is a plant that my friend Paula has and I drool about it all the time. Um, this is also Paula's account. If you want to go check out my friend Paula. Um, so this is a Hoya she told me how to say this and I forget. I'll put it on the screen. I'm sorry, Paula, I failed you. I got I'll try it. Heskeliana? Heskeliana? Hoya Heskeliana. Yay? <laughs> I don't know. 
Okay. Anyway, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Now, I'm assuming like most Hoya and Paula, let me know if I'm right. The more light you give certain Hoyas, the more pinks and reds um, are going to show up on them. Paula, can you tell us? Is that the same with this plant? This is it's just beautiful. It's got reds. It's not even a red. It's like a burgundy. And then you've got pink tones. And then you've got these minty green leaves with these little patches of pink. Yes. I like it. Okay. Moving along. So the next one is one that, you know what? I've seen it a few times. First few times that I saw it, I was like, I, I don't get it. It looks like it's dying, but the more I see it, the more I want it. <laughs> so this is the Cal uh, Calathea mosaica. And this is apparently, from what I understand, a much easier Calathea to take care of. It's not like your ones that, you know, will have a heart attack if you, you know, look at them the wrong way. Um, they seem to be, or from what I've been told and what I've read, they're a little hardier, not so finicky when it comes to watering and uh, humidity and so forth. Um, but yeah, the patterns on the leaves are really, really cool. The other word uh, or name for this plant is the Calathea Network. I can see why. It's got all the little intricate, you know, patterns like this, you know, computer network. It reminds me of, like binary or something. I don't know. I'm such a nerd. Okay. <sighs> Moving along. The second last plant on my list. And I got this photo from a friend of mine because it was hard finding one that looked really nice. And I really thought Jolene's looked really nice. So this is a Sissus Discolor. And these seem to be quite popular right now. Um, again, I haven't seen them up here. Again, my friend Paula has a small cutting of one. I don't know how it's doing. The last time I talked to her, it wasn't doing super great. And I was like, no, you have to keep it alive because I need a piece of it. Um, how's that doing, Paula? Is it still alive? How's it going? I'm really hoping it's still alive. Okay. So, yes, that is the Sissus Discolor. It's really, really pretty. Um... It reminds me of, I want to say lace, but it's not really lace. I don't know. I don't know what it reminds me of. It just looks very intricate, very detailed and fragile and it's really pretty. Okay, I accidentally told a fib. There's actually two plants left on this list. So the first one is a plant that everybody seems to have but me. I don't know if it's a giant conspiracy, but I can't find this plant unless I want to pay like a ridiculous amount for it. And honestly, I like it, but to me, it's not worth a ridiculous amount. So <laughs> this, as you probably all have, you're probably going, oh yeah, Nikki, I've had that forever. Sorry, I don't have it. I still want it. I love the fact that it climbs. Oh, sorry. Raphidophora. Tetrasperma, Arafidophora, or Potato Potato, however you choose to say it. I don't have one of these yet. I want one so that it can climb and have these cute little mini Monstera leaves everywhere. I'm sorry, my eye is driving me nuts. Anyways, I still want this plant. And I don't have it yet. <laughs> Stressing me out. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. And last is the amazing Anthurium vitarifolium. It is so cool. So I actually don't have any um, like belt like Anthuriums um, or pendulum Anthuriums or I don't have any pendulum um, <coughs> philodendrons. Oh my God. Um, I guess my Warquanum is like the closest thing I have to it. 
Uh, but this plant is so cool. It's just so simple. I love the fact that it comes down. You can hang it and it's just this gorgeous green smooth looking plant. I've been eyeing this thing for a while. Never seen one. Want to find one. Please tell me if you have one and you can get it to me. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, that is... My, oh my gosh, I have another one. Okay. This should be the last one. I just went through my... Okay, this is the last one. So this is one that I know a lot of people have. I can't seem to get my hands on one of these either. Um, so this is a Clathia orbifolia. I've heard that they are probably one of the most difficult Clathia, but I really want to try it. <laughs> anyways. The leaves are just stunning. They're big, excuse me, um, they're just gorgeous. Like, I don't, I know, um, obviously, Kaylee has one. Um, I also know Hannah, Tropical Plant Addict. Hers was massive. Now, sadly, hers um, had thrips, and she had to cut, like, I think it was about 90% of it back. And I think, like, the plant community's heart broke at that point because that plant was something else. I'll insert a picture of... Um, Hannah's orbifolia. It was so, so pretty. Um, so this plant is just one that I've had my eye out for a while. I know it's a little more difficult. I feel like I'm at a place now where I would be able to care for it properly. I have the right conditions for it and I want to try it. So if you're around my area, and those of you who are around my area, I think you know. Maybe you don't. I'm in Ontario. So if you're in Ontario and you have one of these and you'd like to sell it, let me know. Okay. All right, guys. Now, that is the end of my wish list video. <laughs> um, I'd love to hear if you guys have some of these plants. Um, you know, if you've got some of these plants and you're like, oh, no, Nikki, trust me, you don't want one of those. Let me know. Uh, if you also have one of these plants and you're like, yes, best plant ever, let me know. <laughs> I'd also hear, I, I would also like to hear what your top wish list plant is. So go ahead down in the comments, tell me what your wish list plant is. If you could have any one plant, one, that's all you get to choose, which plant would it be? If price were no question, or distance were no question, which plant would you choose? It's a good one, right? See all the wheels turning in there. <laughs> okay, guys, that is pretty much all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing a part of my wish list. Maybe eventually I'll do part two and three through ten. <laughs> oh boy. Not even joking. Okay, uh, love you guys. Have a great day, night, week, month, year, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.